The Department of Political Affairs covers every country in the world, monitoring situations, uh, trying to prevent conflict, and trying to resolve conflicts that have erupted. It's a daunting task. And we see also that um, the international community uh, is perhaps more divided than ever, uh, which makes the job even more challenging. Uh, that said, um, it is, um, frankly, a very rewarding experience to be in a position where one might be able to avert a crisis, uh, to help people who are in need, and to help resolve uh, some longstanding issues. I must say that the Department of Political Affairs does much more than I had realized around the world. I spent six years uh, covering the UN Security Council as a US diplomat, focusing mostly on issues that came before the Security Council. Um, but DPA is involved in many, many issues that never make it to the Council. That's the aim. Our aim is uh, to make sure that a full-blown conflict does not erupt and become on the Council's agenda. We are fortunate uh, in that we have member states who value our work, who have provided us extra budgetary funding to carry out many of the conflict prevention activities that we do. Uh, without their support, we would not be in a position to help prevent conflict. I think it's always difficult to do conflict prevention. It, it may be a little bit more difficult uh, today. The major concern among many countries who perhaps um, appear to be sliding into conflict uh, is the concern about sovereignty, a concern about intervention, and we appreciate that. Our goal is not to intervene. Our goal is to help countries help themselves, to be there as support, uh, to provide mediators if they agree, um, to really put them in the driver's seat, not for us to be taking the lead. I think this will be a major factor in our ability to produce better analysis, to look at things regionally, not just country-specific or mission-specific. It will enable uh, all of our uh, staff members to really have a better understanding of where the issue they are handling fits in a broader context. In the end, I think we will see that we will be more effective uh, in our missions uh, and in conflict prevention. Now, obviously, change is difficult. Everyone has difficulty adapting to change. But I'm quite convinced that given the mandates that we have and the commitments of staff members to achieving these mandates, that we will come out of this stronger. And uh, the challenge will be not just in the peace and security pillar, but working better um, with the development pillar in particular uh, to enable us to look at root causes of conflicts and help address them in that manner.